Today's Pilates flow will focus on core connection and glute strengthening, which will help you deal with the demands of pregnancy and help prevent pregnancy related back pain. Although it is safe for every trimester, if you do feel any shortness of breath, dizziness or pain anywhere, make sure you stop the exercises and check in with your health provider. Making your way down onto your mat, onto all fours, we're just gonna start off with some hip circles. So how big the hip circles are is completely up to you, whatever feels comfortable in your body. So we'll just do one more in this direction. And then changing direction. That's my knees clunking. <laughs> and then just stopping in the center. Let's step forward with your left leg. Just coming up into a nice hip flexor stretch. So if you feel a little bit unstable, feel free to either hold on to a lounge or a chair or place your hands on top of that left leg. If you're looking for more of a stretch and you feel quite stable, reach that right arm up as you gently tip towards the left side body. Couple of breaths here. And then slowly just making your way back down to the ground, changing sides. So you'll now step forward with the right foot, find that balance. Still wanna think of a nice gentle lift up of the pelvic floor as we wrap below the belly button so we're not just hanging out into those abdominals. We wanna make sure that the core is connected as we grow tall. Again, if you feel stable, just reach that left arm up as you side reach to the right side body. Couple of breaths here, just enjoy that stretch opening up through the front of the hips. One more breath. And then making your way back down. Just finding your four point kneeling position. So wrist directly underneath the shoulders. If you have any carpal tunnel pain, feel free to just slide those wrists forward. Knees directly under hips and we're going into cat cow. So we're gonna inhale as we extend the spine looking forward and then exhale rounding through the spine. Inhale, feel the sit bones widen as you relax the pelvic floor. And then exhale, lifting up and in, hugging that baby towards the spine. Inhale. And then exhale, breath to movement here. And now we're just gonna feel those two extreme movements. And then we're gonna stop in the middle. So a nice neutral spine position. We're gonna tuck the toes under and just start to wake the core up now. So we take a breath in as we prepare, sit bones widen, pelvic floor relaxes. Exhale, we lift up and in through the pelvic floor, hover the knees, and then inhale, lower. So we're just gonna do four more here. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lower. Exhale, hover. Good, one more. Good, last one. Now here we'll just add a bit of choreography. So we're gonna hover the heels, extend the right leg without anything moving, come back and lower, well done. Changing sides, exhale, hover, left leg, extend, back down and lower, well done. Keep going, exhale, inhale, Exhale, fold, inhale, lower, good. And lower, one more each side, exhale, connect, good. This is quite hard, lower, exhale. And lower, well done, let's have a bit of a stretch. Extend those arms out, 
rest the head down into a puppy pose. So if this feels like you can't quite get there today, feel free to drop down onto your elbows and even just go a little bit wider with those knees just to create some space for the baby. Really focusing, breathing into the belly here, feel the sit bones widen and the pelvic floor relaxes. One more breath here. Big breath in, feel the ribs open, belly expands. Breathe it all out down through the pelvic bowl. From here, coming back onto all fours, we're gonna reach that right arm towards the ceiling as we come down and thread it through the left side body. Good. Opening. And then scooping, good. Last one, just gonna hang out there for a nice stretch. Let the head drop down, extend that left arm out. Breathing into the left side body, enjoy that nice big stretch. Slowly coming back up, unwinding. Let's reach that left arm towards the ceiling, gaze up, and then exhale, threading underneath the right arm. Inhale, good, exhale. One more. And just extending that right arm, press the left palm down into the floor. Nice big breaths here. Enjoy that stretch. One more. Slowly unraveling and we're just gonna make your way down onto the right side. So in this position, we will stay up on your elbow if at all that you feel like you can't quite keep connected through the right side and you feel like you keep dropping, feel free to drop onto a straight arm and you can pop even a pillow underneath your belly to support the weight of the baby. Completely up to you. So I'm gonna place the elbow directly underneath my shoulder. Heels, tailbone, shoulders and head in a nice straight line. And we're just gonna exhale, squeeze those heels together as we open into a clam. Exhale to open, inhale to close. Really important that you're nice and strong through that right shoulder and you're not just dropping down and hanging out. Feel that gentle wrap through the glutes, making sure pelvis is nice and stable, we're not rocking backwards. Eight, two more. Well done. Well done. We're just gonna lie down onto that right side. Extend the top leg to level of the hip. You're gonna exhale up, inhale lower. Three, so always think of that gentle lift up of the tummy. I could slide a piece of paper between you and the mat. Nearly there, halfway. Eight, two more, nine, last one, ten. We're going to stop level with the hip and we've got six circles. One, so it's completely up to you with how big the circle is. Feel free to drop that arm to just help give you a bit of stability down onto the ground. Five, six, and then just changing direction. So really feel the hips just stirring in the socket. Nice and controlled movement. Well done, coming back down, give it a little bit of a tap. And then just gently making your way back up onto that elbow. We're gonna extend that left leg. 
and we're going into some side planks. So really feel like that left inside foot is connect connected to the floor. Breathe in, relax the pelvic floor, and then exhale, we're gonna press up into your side plank. And then inhale, lower. Good. Exhale, press. Inhale, lower, good. Inhale, lower, two more. We're going to stay here and we're just going to pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. Coming back down. Placing that bottom hand underneath your head. Keeping those knees glued together. I'm going to open up into some book openings. So just go with what feels comfortable. You don't want to feel a big strain through the rib cage. Sometimes it's nice to shorten that top arm and then you feel you're not over stretching through the ribs. It's just a gentle opening. Two more. Last one. Slowly unraveling back to center. And then gently make your way down onto that left side. So we're gonna start propped up on that elbow, heels, bottom, shoulders, and head all in a nice straight line. And just connecting through that supporting shoulder. Feel like you're pressing the floor away and you're lifting the left side body. Again, remember that you can lay down onto the floor if you feel that you can't quite support that side body. Glue those heels together. I'm going to exhale open, inhale close, going into some clams. Good. Halfway, waking up the glutes. Nice and strong through the side body. Two more. Well done, gently making your way down onto that left arm. From here, we're just going to extend that top leg, lift and lower. Exhale, lift, well done. Done. Stopping at level of the hip, we're going into hip so uh, circles. Again, just do a range where you feel you can stay nice and stable through the hips. And you can keep that right arm on the floor just to give you a bit of extra stability. One more in this direction. Glutes are definitely firing up and changing direction. Make sure you're continuing to breathe. Last one. Well done. Gently coming down, give it a little bit of a tap. And then we're just going to make your way back up onto that left elbow, extending that right leg into some side planks. So we're breathing in as we prepare. Relax the pelvic floor and exhale, we're going to press. And then lowering back down. Well done. Next one, we're gonna stay up and we're gonna pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done, making your way back down. We're just gonna hug the head with the left arm, going into some book opening. So just keeping the knees glued together. Exhale, gently open. Inhale, close. So I'm just getting you to exhale to open just to keep a little bit of core connection, making sure that you don't let everything go and arch into the lower back. 
So it's a gentle stretch, we're not overstretching. Well done, keep the head heavy in the hands. Well done. Gently making your way down onto your back. Reaching those arms long. Connecting through those heels. We're gonna inhale at the bottom and then exhale, we're just gonna press up into your bridge. Inhale, lower, good. Exhale, press, inhale, lower. So you can, as your pregnancy progresses, if you start to feel uncomfortable laying on the ground, you can by all means place your back on a chair or a lounge just to keep you elevated and do this series. Good. One more. And then from here, we're only gonna go halfway and press. Halfway, press, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, well done, two more, nine, last one. We're gonna stay there, we're gonna lift the heels, lower the heels, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep the hips high, nine, last one, 10, well done, and coming back down. Make your way up into high sitting, so rolling onto your side, pressing up, and just going into a figure four stretch. So making, crossing the right heel onto the left knee and just open up through your chest. Make sure there's enough space there for bub. Just taking a couple of breaths here. Make sure you don't slump into the chest. You still wanna feel nice and proud. Gently changing sides. Again, just checking in with that posture, making sure there's a nice lift up and in of the pelvic floor, hugging baby towards the spine so you don't just let everything hang out. We're not done yet, we're nearly there. One more breath here. And then gently making your way into sitting. So whatever's comfortable, if cross-legged isn't comfortable for you anymore, then feel free to sit back on your heels, whatever's comfortable in a sitting position. And we're just gonna exhale as we reach towards that left side body. Inhale back to center, exhale. Making sure that the shoulders are nice and heavy. Well done. One more to that right side. And then from the center, we're just gonna rotate towards the left side, nice and tall through the crown of the head. I'm just gonna hold this for three breaths. Slowly unraveling back to center, changing sides to the right side. One more breath. Coming back to center, gently drawing that right ear to right shoulder, keeping the chin in line with your chest bone. changing sides. Nice and tall through the spine. And then relaxing in the center. 